Spider-Man. Are you ready? I now she's <laughs> now she's not bringing back to me. I guess that is fair. Bless you. Hi everyone, so today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a Kmart homeware haul for you. This is, um, I actually haven't done one of these on my channel before, but a lot of the stuff in my house is either Kmart or Ikea. As you can see, these are Kmart pillows, but I got these ages ago. So, I'm going to be doing that for you. So, I'm revamping my bedroom a little bit, and I'm also going to be making the second bedroom into a spare room so that when my mum and brother and family and friends and stuff want to come stay they can come stay at my place so what I'm doing is I'm going to move my bed that's in my bedroom now which is a double and it's just on like this white um, bed base sort of bed board bed frame that is what it is it's on a white bed frame that is from Ikea so I figured it's a good time to upgrade my bed to a queen. So that is what I've done. I've bought my bed and my mattress and all I'm doing, my mattress arrived this morning and I'm just waiting for my bed frame to arrive. So that is so exciting and then I can start putting both the rooms together but until then I really can't do much because I still need to sleep in my bed. So also if you guys would like to see a bedroom tour or like a house tour or something like that because I actually haven't shown you guys this house before as the last house tour I did was from over like almost two years ago. So yes, that is what we're going to do and now I'm in this townhouse instead of an apartment so it is a bit bigger than what I was in and it looks a lot different to what I did have before. Are you right? Do you want to come say hi? Come on then. Hello. <laughs> okay, I wish I know you're beautiful. I know your cheek is beautiful. So I was just editing my video and I just wanted to come in and tell you guys that um, to please ignore the hospital band on my wrist. I completely forgot to take it off. I was in hospital. Yes, well, I was in hospital for the last um, week and only got discharged yesterday. So, and I haven't been able to find any scissors to get it off. So I haven't cut it off yet. So that is why it's still on. And I just completely forgot about it showing in my video and everything. Also, my tummy is so bloated throughout the video at the moment because I'm like having tummy issues. So please ignore that as well. But yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so now you can see this massive pile to my left, and um, yeah, we're just going to get into it. I'm going to do the big stuff first so that I can just throw it behind me and you won't see it anymore and it won't so it looks so messy, so that is what we're going to do. Alright, so the first item I'm going to show you is this fitted electric blanket that is for queen beds because... I have one on my double bed at the moment, but because I'm getting a new one, I definitely needed this, especially with it coming into Canberra winter, and Canberra winter gets really, really cold. So that is what I've done. It is got, so it's got three heat settings. It's pretty much like a fitted sheet, and then you put your fitted sheet over the top of it. And yeah, they're really good. So that is what I did for that one. Alright, so the queen bed electric blanket was $45. The next thing that I'm showing you is this Duna cover. It is a queen size, again, for my new queen bed. And it is the high warmth one. It says the level is 3. It is a cotton one. You can wash it in your machine, which was a big one for me because I don't have anywhere that I could soak it if... Oh, my dogs just did something. As always, my puppies are getting into stuff and being naughty. You <laughs> don't chew that. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. Cookie, come here. <sighs> she knows she's in trouble. <laughs> I didn't even get mad at you. I just asked what you did. <laughs> okay, so 
let's get back into this. I can't remember what I said, but what I was saying was that um, it's really good that it's a machine washable because I don't have anything that I could soak it in. So that is a bonus if I ever have to wash it. And yeah, it feels quite heavy. So honestly, it's a Kmart Duna, so it's probably not going to be the warmest thing ever. But I lay on my blankets and I wear my really warm pyjamas and I've got my electric blanket so it's not going to be an issue if it's not that warm. And that one, so the Duna, the Duna cost me $49. So. Alright, so these are for my spare bedroom. They, I'm, I like to have four pillows so I like to have the two at the back where it's from the sheet set and then the two at the front which is from the doona set so I needed four pillows and I feel like if anyone was to come stay then at least they couldn't say that I didn't have enough pillows <laughs> so what I have got so the first ones I'm going to show you are these medium profile pillows because I figured I'd get so I figured I'd get two high profile and two medium profile so that you could decide which one you want to sleep on and instead of getting four of the same pillows and then all being just as uncomfy as each other. So the medium profile ones cost me $10 for a pack of two. So they're both in here. And the high profile ones cost me $12 for a pack of two. And they're just a little bit thicker. I'm going to show you some more pillows because I like my pillows but I got these European pillows because I really like the style of having like the two big pillows at the back and then the four pillows and then like little cushions and stuff everywhere I like my pillows and my cushions so these cost me uh, $12 for one pillow so it ended up costing me $24 for the two but that's all right. it's not too bad They're these big, squishy European pillows. So next I'm going to show you is this pink sheet set for the double bed. What I didn't tell you at the start is that my bedroom is like white, grey and aqua. Aqua is the main colour source for it, all the like splashes of colour. And sometimes I put like a lilac -y purple in there as well, but... So, and then the spare bedroom I want to keep in theme with the rest of my house, which is white, grey and pale pink. So that is what I'm going to do because I feel like it just fits in really well then. And then the only thing that's different is my bedroom. So, I got this sheet set which is 225 thread count. It is a double, they're not the, I don't know, I guess everyone's fancy sheets. With a, is it lower thread count? I don't know. But I actually feel like these are still quite comfy. So I'm not complaining. And I put them on my bed. So I'm not just going to give the people that stay at my house crappy sheets. Because I live in the crappy sheets too. <laughs> um, so this one cost me $30. And it comes with... Your fitted sheet, your flat sheet, and two pillowcases. As I was saying, I do the crappy sheets for me and the nicer sheets for them. So, these one that I got for myself is not the colour I was actually expecting. I was expecting it to be more of a pale aqua. So, I don't know how I feel about this colour, but... I don't know, it's not too bad. I don't think it's showing up too bad on camera. I don't know, it, it, it'll still look nice. It's just, I, I was hoping for a lighter, a lighter shade of it. Um, so this one is 180 thread count. It is in glare, it then, 
It again includes the fitted sheet, flat sheet and two pillowcases. Um, and this one cost me $25. So it was cheaper than the double set that I got. And the quality isn't as great. The next item I'm going to show you is these two white vases that I have bought to put in the spare room, I think on one of the bedside tables because I think it would look nice if I put some flowers coming out of it, like pink flowers. Um, I think that would be really pretty. This wasn't very expensive at all. It was only $7 for the two vases and it actually feels quite heavy. Actually pretty sturdy and pretty heavy so definitely could not complain about that at all for seven dollars for two not bad I am so excited to be able to set up the spare room like more so than setting up my room I just cannot wait and I cannot wait to like show my mom and like show my brother and show my friends who can stay and I'm so excited <laughs> I know it's definitely going to look like a Kmart room, but oh well, it's white and it's pink, what more do you want? <laughs> the next item I'm going to show you is this clock radio. It says AM slash FM radio, dual alarm with snooze and sleep function, 20 AM, 20 FM station memory set, so that is what it looks like. I think it is pink. Hello. Okay, we've got it. Finally. So, as I just showed you, I want to have the white vases and then with the flowers in, and then on the other side, I'm going to put this clock with the. I think it may be maybe like a picture frame or something. Well, see, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Oh, I like the colour. That definitely fits in well with the theme. Oh, that'd be cute though. So that is the little clock radio that I've got to put in their room. And it is actually like perfect colour, like it even fits in with here. So I am definitely happy with that. It cost $15. It is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a lot more like longer I guess or bigger because even in the picture it looks like it's going to be big but that's alright it's still cute and dainty I guess you don't want anything too chunky on your bedside table anyway so I'm not complaining and lastly I'm going to show you that I have for the Kmart haul is these two really pale pink candles they are the water lily and lotus fragrant candle and they actually smell like really, really nice. They're not overwhelming and they don't smell too strong of something. It's kind of just like a nice, subtle, like, pretty smell, I guess. And these were $2 each. So total it was $4 for both of these, which is really, really good. So they're just going to help decorate it a bit as well. Okay, so that is everything that I bought from Kmart this time. I also have a Target plus the Ikea haul, that will be all together in one coming up soon. I'm just waiting for the Target stuff to arrive. Um, that is more stuff like the cushions and rug, like throw rugs and stuff, like more of the decor side of things instead of just like the homewares, like dunas and pillows and stuff like that. So that is what is happening with that one. That will hopefully be coming up not soon long after this haul and then once I have finally completed the bedrooms I am hoping to do a bedroom tour and maybe even a house tour if you guys are interested so I really hope you have enjoyed this video I am so looking forward to setting up my house like honestly it's all been set up for ages and it all still looks really nice at the moment but you know just like to refresh it I am so excited. Like, I cannot wait. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I know that they don't do the notifications for anyone anymore. So, yes, 
Also, I'm looking at into doing more dog boxes with my dogs. I'm in the process of trying to find one that I want to do because I'd rather get pay the money and get a better box to show you guys and then to get a not so great box. So that is what I'm in the process of doing. And anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.